What's going on guys? Talk Aston Villa here back for another match review and this is the Hull City versus Aston Villa match review finishing 2-0 to the Tigers. I'm not going to say anything for a while. I'm just going to let your tweets really speak out for how I'm feeling. I've legit got a migraine after watching this game. So minimal my opinion, more your opinion. I always go to Twitter following games if you want to get your opinions read out at Talk Aston Villa is the place to find me. Uh, first we have at Bradley underscore D7 saying painful to watch can't believe that Lambert and the players are getting paid to play and manage how they have done it's a joke at Alan Keen 29 12 saying as a, as a, even as a United supporter I think Paul Lambert is ruining your club much better than this shower shit so far this season that's coming up from a lot if it's coming from another opposing fan in the Premier League at Danny Stater saying Bad all-around performance. Again, heel looking like the only one interested. Hashtag Lambert out. At Mickey C underscore 1234 saying, Time to go. Thanks for the memories. There haven't been many. Fuck off, Lambert. Worst AVFC manager in our history. Hashtag UTB. And that's saying something, and I agree with that to an extent. At Eaton Drew saying, No movement whatsoever from anyone up front. It's difficult to watch and something needs to be done to change it. Hashtag Lambert out. Uh, scrolling up here at Villatil, or his name is Villatil Adai, saying, So angry, it's beyond belief. It's time to flip that coin, Mr. Tom, from all the Villa family. Hashtag Lambert out. And before we get on the next part, at Pastiche520, sorry if I butchered that, saying, What's happening at our club is an insult to every past and present Villa fan. Please do something about it, Mr. Lerner. So after that, I went out and asked you if you could say one thing to Mr. Lambert, to Mr. Paul Lambert, what would you say? we got some entertaining ones here, so stay on for that. At PaulSkip999 saying, hashtag make a loud drop. Um, at Birch underscore Josh saying, just go please. Um, at R1 Chuck saying, go. At Grim underscore Lock underscore saying, you couldn't read out mine. Learner's killing the club and can't decide which of him or Lambert is worse. He goes on later to say Learner is worse. A nice little picture uh, from at Dinesy Boy saying, Mr. or my friend, your C word. I, I imagine he knows what the C word is, but I know there's younger viewers. There's a few of them that watch this, so I won't say it. Um, at Kickmon saying, resign now. At Bowkit David saying, go. At Connor underscore Steven saying, fuck off and go. At Faisal underscore P saying, fuck off. Um, Neil underscore Stone saying 1979 saying what the hell do you practice in everyday training um, at Bowkit David again saying if he's still there Sunday I'm not going to the game um, at Bradley underscore T7 again saying leave and the last one is a C word by InSync underscore HD I did say fuck off but I'm not going to say the C word that's a little too far so throwing away that thanks for all your comments that's great to see I don't want to break down the game too much this time. I always give kind of both thoughts, but I'm just, I don't know what to say. Hull didn't even play that well, in my opinion. I'll give them full credit for winning, but did Jelovic really show much? Did Andoy really show much? No, they just played an average game. I wouldn't say they played a massive difference between us. I don't think the quality was really different. It was just the performance today was utter crap. He Obviously, Benteke came off the bench later, right after halftime basically and just I I don't know what to say we have no confidence going up forward you see heel knocking in balls you see everyone knocking in balls in the box but there's one player there and there's four defenders covering him it's gonna be pretty easy for a defender to pick that off like I don't know what to think anymore Lerner I'm not gonna say anything about him I'll just get into Lambert because I think this is the most obvious thing if he's still there on Sunday I'll be shocked I mean at this point even if Lerner's not interested in the club or Fox doesn't know what the hell he's doing. It's pretty evident that we have a clueless manager who is has no clue. He's tactically inept, and he has no confidence in this badge. He can go on saying his full confidence, and he doesn't because obviously his tactics don't reflect confidence. So it's so obvious in that manner. I don't know what to say, honestly. I could rant about Lambert out and all this stuff, and I am Lambert out at this point. I have been for a long time now. It's just one of those things that's tiring to keep saying I honestly don't want to yell because I have a migraine so like I, I I don't understand obviously no one from the club will ever watch this but if you want to tweet them and direct this to their attention that'd be fantastic because my one word to Villa Football Club right now is 
what the hell are you thinking? Get rid of Lambert. Change is needed now, or this club's going down. It's as simple as that. This club will cease to exist in the Premier League. If we go down next season, that will be the worst thing for this club because I can see us going down even further because half these players will be gone, if not more than half. It's just one of those things that's put the shift in now or buckle up for a bumpy ride for the next several years because I don't know how bad it's going to get after this. Anyways, guys, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video on that stuff. Share it with whoever you want. Share it with um, at AVFC officials, the official thing for Villa on Twitter. You have to look at it because they never do. They ignore me anyways. Um, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later.